Hello, this is Bino. I'm an International Society of Arboriculture Arborist. And once you're an ISA Arborist, what you're required to do to maintain your certification, you have to obtain 30 CEUs every three years. So in doing that, recently I was learning about something called a lingo tuber. Um, it's a really interesting concept, something that I'd never heard of in my life, and I've been in tree care for more than 30 plus years. I was so excited to learn this new information, I wanted to share it with you. So um, I'll, let's get to the explanation. A lingo tuber is an area in the tree, it's at the base of a tree, and it's a swelled up area at the trunk flare. What it is are, are buds that aren't visible, and an area of water and carbohydrates that's stored in the trunk. And if something happens to the tree, such as stress, or if the whole trunk is removed, now these buds will come out. And they'll come out in force, and they'll be strongly attached to the tree. So it sounds kind of like epicormic shoots and latent buds. It's a lot different than an epicormic shoot and a latent bud. So in, in um, tree care, if you top a tree or you, if you cut it back too heavy, then what will happen are these buds that weren't visible will start coming out from like say the side of the trunk and they'll just start growing or if you top a tree the epicormic shoots will come from that that point where it was topped the thing with those what happens is they're weakly attached so a latent bud will be on the trunk it grows from there it will never be as strong as a bud that started from the stem and grew with the tree so a latent bud comes out from nowhere, you can't see it. That's when um, a lot of the canopy is removed. Now it comes out, then an epicormic shoot. If the tree's top, it'll come from that topping cut. Now those are weakly attached. And if you're an arborist and it like, works in an urban forest like I do, you, you have to do your best not to do that kind of thing. And then if that happens, there's things you can do called restoring a tree where you try to remove the larger shoots when it gets older and if you're letting it grow that kind of situation isn't always that great but a lingo tuber is so much different than the latent bud in an epicormic shoot what happens with the lingo tuber once the trunk is removed or maybe say um, the tree was damaged those lingo tubers that come out from the base of the tree when they sprout they're strongly rooted in i mean they're they're connected to the root system so they're not like connected to the outer layer actually connected to the root system what can happen is you can create a strong stem from that um, removed tree it reminded me of a park that um, in my city where we had a ginkgo tree and we had to take it out in a planter and then it started sprouting from there so i'd like to show you the result of that so here we have this ginkgo in this, um, actually it's a small planter for the size of what this ginkgo um, was. It grew, it was near about 30 foot tall, and the top section of this ginkgo, it died out. So what we ended up doing is we cut the trunk off. And when that happened, we started having these sprouts. The time I didn't know anything about lingo tubers, but I, I think this is a result of that. The article that I read about that spoke about lingo tubers is that ginkgos were a species that had lingo tubers so my understanding is these will be really well rooted into that stem into the root system they're connected really well so what you could do is let them grow you could probably take one stem out and then let that be turn into a tree well that's not something that we wanted to do here we wanted it not to get very large so what we've been doing is we'll let these stems grow and then when it gets a little bit too big for our liking, we'll take one of the stems out and let one of these younger ones grow. In a way, it's almost like coppicing. There's a, there's a, a specialized pruning called coppicing. It's, it's where they take the trunk off and what they'll do is they'll let all these young stems grow to five to seven years. And then at that time, when it gets about that long, then they start harvesting the wood. They'll have them for like, like fence posts, or maybe they'll use it for um, wood for fire, or maybe even wood for like making baskets. And that, that was a specialized technique that goes hundreds of years back. But um, in our situation, we really don't want to take all of them off. We want to have this tree continue to grow. The thing about a lingo tuber that's really fascinating is that 
there's a lot of starches and carbohydrates in the trunk that's below ground. So this planter, it's been droughted out for years. It's a planter that's manually watered. It gets water about once a month. If I were to remove the tree completely and plant a brand new tree, more likely that young tree would die. But since this is coming from the parent root, this tree's been thriving for about 15 years. Um, really happy for the result of what it is because now we have something in this planter that's really hard to maintain um, and it didn't cost us a thing. And these young stems remain green even in the hottest of summers. They're not drying and dying out. Really interesting um, thing for me to learn. I was really happy about this lingo tuber. Um, it helped me learn about coppicing too, what the coppicing technique is. And aside from coppicing, there's another technique called pollarding. It's a little bit different. Pollarding is where you'll take a tree up so many feet, usually a juvenile tree, and you cut it so many feet off the ground and then you let it sprout. Now those would be the epicormic shoots that are usually weakly attached. But these two techniques of coppicing and, and pollarding, those are, are techniques used for the same kind of thing. It would be for wood, wood production or post, fence posts or for making baskets. Um, interesting, something that an arborist in an urban forest wouldn't want to do, but having the knowledge of the lingo tuber and knowing that if I did have a trunk and that tree, tree had lingo tubers and I could actually turn the tree into a solid tree from a trunk, that's really interesting and, and fascinating to me and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Well, this is about that new knowledge I gained about lingo tubers and also finding about what pollarding and coppicing is. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video regarding that. If you guys are in that industry of coppicing and maybe pollarding, it'd be great if some of you guys can make comments on it. Um, I'd like to learn more about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like it, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. Take care, we'll see you next time.